Hi, I'm Tenshi. So if you're into Android free and open source apps, if you've got an Android and you're trying to make it more private, more secure, you've probably heard of simple mobile tools instead of Android apps that are completely open source, you know, private, secure, whatever. They're really just basic apps for Android that do basic functions. My favorite one's the calendar, which is what I used to use for all of my calendar stuff up until now. And now I've actually stopped using it. And the reason I've stopped doing that is because of a recent development that has just happened. So like I said, you may have heard of simple mobile tools from a lot of YouTubers. Lots of people hype them up like, oh, they're so fantastic. They're so great. They're so great in open source. You know, it's a statement of how great open source apps are not like stupid bloatware apps on the, on the Play Store, but you get like free Calendar Pro 2024 or something like that. And the dramatic irony of this situation is just hilarious considering all the positive press that used to exist around simple mobile tools. So what happened was, one day, somebody goes to, you know, the simple Calendar Pro or, you know, some kind of simple mobile tool like uh, Google Play Store page. And they scroll down all the way down to, I think it was the support email. I think that's right at the bottom or I'm not quite sure where it is, but basically you can see it over here. And they notice the email got changed to zippoapps.com. Now, what the heck is a Zippo Apps is what I was thinking. And a Zippo Apps apparently is an Israeli company that creates these apps, these extremely bloated, ad-filled uh, subscription model apps that essentially are terrible all on the Play Store. Now, Zippo Apps themselves works on a business model of buying successful apps, good apps even, like the simple mobile tools, and making them profitable. They essentially sell them to you for a certain amount of money, depending on how many people download your apps. And then they monetize them and, and turn them into a big money-making scheme. They're taking advantage of the fact that you can change an app's like management, you can change how it's developed and publish it still to the same Google Play slot. So people will update that app and suddenly, oh, it's full of ads and it's full of subscription models and stuff like that. Needless to say, these apps are no longer trustworthy, especially if you get them on the Play Store. I believe the F-Droid versions will remain the same, like the static version. So if you're getting them from the free and open source store F-Droid, you're probably gonna be okay. With all that said, not all hope is lost. There is an effort by a company named Fossify Org, or at least like a GitHub organization, if you can really call that a company, to maintain all of the apps. They have these forks set up already. There's a lot of these apps, you know, and, and in my head, I'm not trying to judge the developer for selling his apps because, you know, if it had to be done, it had to be done. If you're in a bad financial situation and the best thing you can do is sell something which you don't really lose anything by selling them. I mean, it's not like you lose, I mean, apart from a bunch of people being mad on, on Reddit, you know, uh, nobody's going to particularly do anything to you if you sell them. I understand that situation, but I believe this makes a good statement on how open source projects that maintain their scope a little smaller and maintain development maybe a little slower, or maybe they keep things a little bit smaller, a little bit simpler, less bloat, tend to be the ones which in the long run are adopted and successful and you know everybody uses them and everybody knows about them simple mold tools was a fantastic experiment and it seems that it kind of has failed at least for the developer that made it anyways with all that said i wish everybody at falsify org good luck with anything they continue to do i just wanted to make this quick video to tell y'all not to use simple mobile tools anymore because they are now owned by that a software development company named Zippo Apps that buys and fills stuff with ads and terrible subscription models. So yeah, I've been Denshi. Goodbye.